Hey guys, welcome to Outlaw Edge. So this is kind of a down and dirty uh, tool that I'm gonna build. I wanna build this where it has the same radius right here all the way around, but I keep getting kinks in it. So I'm gonna make a hickey bar real quick. And I'll kind of see what I'm doing. <clears throat> uh, I need a piece of, uh, I'll need two of these that I'll have to cut for the, for the end so that I can bend this metal quick. But I'll need, uh, kinda, if I can find that wrench, you just need a whole bunch of old junk laying around. Yep, there you go. So I had this old crappy wrench. Somebody at one time wants to cut this thing out with like a plasma cutter or something to make a tool, but I don't need it. So I think what I'll do is I'll hold it to here and set up my tripod. So I'm gonna use my saw from Evolution and I'll cut this off. It's gonna be kind of nice. Um, I'll set up some kind of jig in there real quick. So I have these little uh, blocks that I use all the time, and I'll end up using one of those. When I get this all tightened in there, and then uh, cut it off. And all that does is, you know, I, I keep all these scrap pieces like this, and I use them, you know, with my one, two, three blocks and stuff when I'm doing welding and whatever. But it helps a lot when you keep, you know, a lot of this junk like this in a box or. What I do is I keep it on top of my toolbox here. You know, I have a bunch of uh, pieces of aluminum and just stainless and one to two box and then stuff like this. It just helps a lot, you know, when you're trying to jig something up. Like this, for instance, you know, I wanna lift it up so I can cut it. So I'll go ahead and get it cut. I, I figured I'd spare you guys the noise, but I cut the wrench head deal off there. And then I'll take this out and uh, I'll get it set up and get it ground and cleaned up. Like I said, this is just going to be a quick build video, video, a real short video, so short as I can get it. Should have had that plugged in already. Wasn't prepared. I do that about a thousand times a day.
So that's all welded up. And now you can use that tool on round rod or flat strap or whatever, either this way. And all you gotta do is pry against it. Or like this. You know, when you're trying to get like a real soft radius, you can really control it like this. Drop it down a little bit. And then every increment, it's got that one inch space in between these two bars that I put on here. So that increment, every one inch, it'll give you a nice radius. Every one inch of that, that uh, rod that you're doing. Go to the next one, it leaves a mark. Go to the next one, next one. And you can see on camera, it's starting to give you a real clean radius. And sure, you might say, you know, oh, you could bend this around a round surface or whatever, but I'm just trying to show you a way that, you know, you don't need $100,000 worth of tools to, uh, to do uh, work on your cars or motorcycles or whatever, or fabrication, you know, you can make stuff out of what you got. <clears throat> and that's just a quick project. Figured I'd share with you guys. But I'll clean it up and use it, and then that way I can get this piece built for inside the car and, and then get those floorboards welded in. Anyways, uh, thanks for the support. Hit the uh, thumbs up and uh, subscribe button and all that good stuff. And I appreciate you guys watching the channel. Later.